Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, head of content of OneShotWiser.com, reporting live from Baselworld 2019. And now I do have the pleasure to present you seven Zenit novelties. Uh, a brand I very much like, it's a brand that deserves a lot of attention in my eyes, a brand that is totally underestimated and this is why I'm sitting here, because I'm a big fan of Zenit, a big fan of them, but a big fan of that's what they're doing and I hope I can inspire you guys out there to have a closer look of some of the products they are presenting. So the first of the seven novelties of Zenit I'm presenting you is the DeFi Inventor. The DeFi Inventor now is uh, the watch that goes in a bigger series. There was the DeFi Lab. It was presented in 2017 when they launched this type of new movement, this type of oscillator. And there was a limited edition of only 10 pieces made at the time being for collectors and sold immediately. And so now they go into, let's say, a serial production. Uh, this watch is not limited, but of course limited due to the fact that it is a very, very complicated watch to manufacture. So what is special with the DeFi Inventor? Uh, it features a monolithic oscillator made out of silicon. <clears throat> so if you look close on the watch, you will see something vibrating just under the dial and what's vibrating there is a as I said monolithic oscillator made out of silicon and what's behind the brain Guy Semon, who invented this oscillator thought what do I have to do to replace the entire escapement of a watch about 30 components and to invent or to create uh, an oscillator that would oscillate as an entire piece and give and hack the in uh, hack the energy that comes as a steady energy from the barrel to hack it in the in and in, 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 in to make it possible to give information to a gear train to display time and he was able <coughs> to create this um, by a so-called I have to look into the story I've been writing um, in 2017 because it's really complicated and um, I want to also recommend you this story to have a look at it. Um, let me just read it out. This oscillating uh, part you see under the dial is what we call a new oscillator forming a monolithic hole and made out of monocrystalline silicon. Um, some of the parts are thinner than the hair and this monolithic crystalline oscillator oscillates at a speed of 18 Hertz or 129,600 vibrations per hour. And if you want to learn and if you want to understand what it is, you can have a first look to this little presentation here and you see that Partly all the components that form a lever escapement are put out and built in this one oscillator that one once sourced with energy coming from the barrel will start to oscillate and hack the steadily coming energy from the barrel so that with the gear train it can be transformed and time can be displayed. And if you're interested to learn more about this absolutely genius invention, I recommend you, I just had to look in my iPhone, uh, uh, on the 14th of September in 2017, I published an article on our website on watchadvisor.com. If you go on watchadvisor.com, click on magazine, there is a, 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 you can choose, you go on magazine and then please there is a search function. And what you type in is Zenit DeFi Lab, DeFi Lab, learn all you need to know about the Palace Revolution. It will be enough to type in Zenit DeFi Lab, because the first version of the watch, as I told you in the beginning, was a limited edition of only 10 pieces, and this was when they introduced it. If you read the article, um, and if you also uh, hear the interview I did with uh, Guy Semon, there is a, <clears throat> a sound file you can listen to. There are some, I don't know, 30 pictures 
and explanations in all details, um, you will probably better understand that I could explain you what this is about here in the video. So please check out my article and in brief, as I told you, you are replacing some fretty components of a lever escapement to a monocrystalline hole, as you call it, an entire uh, 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 an entire object that is vibrating in a dedicated speed you want it to vibrate that's all calculated by a huge computer and then you build it up by wafer, wafers and the entire object I call it object I know it's ridiculous but I call it object the entire thing well will start to vibrate and do exactly what a classical lever escapement does in a normal watch. So this watch is sold for 17,600 Swiss francs, oh, euros, sorry, 17,600 Swiss francs. It's not limited, comes to the market, and it's now the newest technology in terms of timekeeping from Zenit, and it's called DeFi Inventor, and will come to the market very soon. And it's on top, chronometer certified by COSC, so it has proven to be a precise watch. In the DeFi collection, Zenit launches a double tourbillon. Uh, uh, it's a quite huge watch because it is 46 millimeters big, but I think um, there's a certain reason why the watch measures 46 millimeters, and the reason is pretty easy to explain. It's a double tourbillon, but it's not a double tourbillon that would probably enhance the accur accuracy. Um, there's one tourbillon oscillating uh, as most of the tourbillons do in one minute and there is a second one uh, if you start the chronograph that will be in charge for time care for the for the for the function of the chronograph and give the accurate uh, information uh, to the gear train of the chronograph and if you start the chronograph then you will see that the second tourbillon starts and this rotates each five seconds and the uh, uh, balance wheel oscillates at 50 hertz. So it's measuring one hundredths of a second. And uh, timekeeping or accuracy is given by this tourbillon that is uh, a five second tourbillon, whilst the regular tourbillon that is in charge uh, to give the exact information to the gear train um, for the normal watch is oscillating at uh, 36,000 uh, 36, amplifications or 5 hertz and this is a one minute tourbillon. There are two versions done. There is this uh, one I'm showing in the camera. It's a carbon version, uh, very light. Uh, 50 pieces are made and it will be sold for 112,000 euros. And if you want more precious metals, then you go for the platinum version and the platinum version is limited to only 10 pieces, 10 pieces only. And this one is sold for 140,000 euros. And I can tell you, if you look once again, when you start, then you see that uh, the second tourbillon starts to turn every five seconds. And it's, as I told you, the source of information for the gear train so the watch can display one the one hundredths of a second. And this is the version in platinum, limited 10 pieces of uh, that double tourbillon. So do not, uh, um, do not uh, uh, think that the second tourbillon enhances the accuracy of the normal watch. It's just that the chronograph has its own tourbillon regulating mechanism that is in charge for timekeeping in this case for the chronograph when you start stop and reset the chronograph two versions one in carbon and the other one in platinum the remaining four watches you see on the tray in front of me um, uh, watches we already showed you in a first video we taped uh, uh, when we were uh, in Le Locchio at Zenit in the headquarters uh, when we filmed that legendary film about uh, the story of the El Primero Calibre. It's watches um, in either a ceramic case or in black carbon. This is the DeFi 21 
chronograph um, uh, measuring the one hundredth of a second in a very, very nice looking black carbon case. It's really a beautiful look because uh, the way how the carbon case, case is made guarantees you that there won't be a second one looking exactly like this one. That's due to the process how carbon is forged. And um, every case will be more or less, uh, yes, uh, let's say a unique piece. They all are in black carbon, but the surfaces and the way how the carbon gets together when it is um, um, cooked and on the pressure uh, when, the, when the case is made, they will all look different. So um, the DeFi uh, is sold for 17,600. I had to look on my little paper here, 17,600 and a very cool watch. And if we go back um, to those free watches, you already saw them. If you have been uh, online already and you were watching the video we taped in uh, Le Locke, these are DeFi classics. We have a white version. I very much believe that white is a color that will strongly come and we will see a lot of white watches um, in the next time, in the, next, in the upcoming days and, the, uh, and weeks. Um, um, there is always a trend um, I learned during SIH, a friend of mine who is in charge of classic driver, Philipp Radkin, uh, he explained to me that a lot of colors that we see in the watch industry come from the car industry because uh, with a f kind of a three years delay, uh, the watch industry picks colors that are very common in the car industry. And in this case, you might have already recognized or seen out there that there are a lot of white cars. They just came out of nothing. There were no white cars because white cars looked like an, I don't know, an ambulance or something. So nobody wanted to drive a white car and they seemed to be pretty um, cool and um, they seemed to be um, something people want to buy. And therefore, you see, white watches, I suggest they are going to be a trend. And uh, so this is the white version. Black is always good because black is cool. Um, black um, ceramic and this one, the blue one, is also something that has been taken from, I would say, the car industry. Blue is very popular in the watch industry for many years now. And I also learned from Philippe that blue is going to be one of the next colors coming back with cars, blue and gray. So we probably also see more blue and gray watches in the future. But the small collection of watches and these uh, watches are sold for 7,100 euros. Very nice, uh, very sporty. And I would say, oh, wrong way. Uh, let me put it back. Once again, there we go. And I think these are watches that could be easily worn during summer and uh, especially for women. Hey, this is really sexy, huh? I like it. So thank you very much for watching my little presentation of the Zenit uh, highlights. Um, uh, let's quickly uh, resume. We had the double tourbillon. Um, we had the, um, the inventor. And we had uh, these watches, the black carbon and the ceramic cases. I would say that's a collection that is absolutely worth being seen on the wrist, tried on the wrist. Um, in terms of what Zenit does um, uh, with movements, there is no doubt, there is nothing you have to question. The quality of the cases is good. The brand would need, and uh, many do agree with me, would need a little bit more. <sighs> the brand should be more sexy. Let's name it like this. But this is nothing that should you out there be interested um, uh, should you be interested in Zenit that should worry you because you don't need uh, uh, something sexy on your wrist you need something that tells the time Zenit watches do and uh, there's a history behind a, deep, a very interesting history and a lot of emotions and these watches I would say are pretty rare compared to many other companies that manufacture hundreds of thousand watches they don't Thanks for watching. Um, if you like what we are doing, then please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our videos, of course. Uh, do also check out what we're doing on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have questions about Zenit or about uh, what I have been saying here, presenting you, please use the comment section here underneath. Ask me questions. I'm more than happy to answer you. Bye-bye.